everybody, Carrie Portell here. It's hot and humid in mid-Missouri today, disgustingly so. As you can probably see by the sweat on my face. I've talked to you just a tad about how I've used equine therapy in my recovery, kind of like as a physical therapy to help me get over my injuries from a car crash. And today I'd like to show you some possibilities with stirrups that have either hindered or helped me continue horseback riding. It's been quite a bit of a challenge for me to try to stay on a horse. It's something that I've done since I was three years old and I have no desire or intention of giving it up because of the injuries that I've sustained. Now, if you're new with us, um, I was in a car crash really bad. Five years ago, I was hit by a drunk driver with two of our girls and I sustained lots of injuries from uh, basically my waist down to my ankles. But my most severe were um, both of my lower legs and my ankles. Very, very bad bone damage. So when you get on a horse, um, the first thing that you do is put your foot in the stirrup. So both of my ankles are fused, which means they're at 90 degrees at all times. And I have a very hard time turning my toes inward and it causes a lot of pain. So everybody knows traditional stirrup is just like this. Um, what it does is it takes and it wants to point your toes inwards. Did not work whatsoever for me at all. Couldn't even ride. I had to ride with my feet hanging out and everybody knows, you know, stuff can happen and it's just not safe. So my next trial was an angled stirrup. So you can see right here that it angles down a little bit. And what this did was it allowed me to turn my toe outward a little bit to kind of ease the pressure off of my ankle. And it also eases the pressure off of your knees as well. Now, my left ankle didn't do too bad with these, but my right one was just, it was damaged so severely that I still, it was still too much um, for me to handle. So those went to the wayside. Now just recently, a couple months ago, I have found this stirrup. I know it looks really odd. So this one is slanted, you can see it goes down, but it is also twisted. I know, kind of weird. So it's a slanted, twisted stirrup. And what this allows me to do is it allows me to put that toe out even further to the side. And I know in some instances that that is not, I, I wouldn't condone that as to be something safe, especially like at our house, everybody here are team ropers. So when they're coming out of that box and they're going down the arena, if you get too close to the fence or the piping when you come out of the box, that toe can grab on that piping and twist it around and you know, then you're done for. But what these have done is that it's allowed me just a little bit more freedom in getting those toes out, especially on my right side. Now, I still have some problems on that right side, which I think are only going to be taken care of by surgery. But this summer, these weird looking stirrups have allowed me to be able to get on my horse and um, stay there for a longer period of time. The other ones maybe 10, 15 minutes before I'd have to take them out. And that was pushing it for me. So even though they helped me get on a horse, they didn't really last that long. Um, Double-edged sword with these, because I don't know if you can see this, this has some gripping material in there. Once I'm in the saddle, it's wonderful because it keeps my feet in place. Um, it, kind of, it grips them so that they don't slide, which is great because I also have problems with my pelvis and trying to stay in the saddle is very hard, which is something else I think I'm gonna have to work with. But when I get down off of my horse, this is when I have problems. My pelvis is fused as well and I've lost pretty much all my flexibility. So you know when you get down on, off of a horse, your knee stays up and then you pull your foot out of that stirrup. I can't get my foot out of it because of this gripping. So I have to remove my foot from the stirrup and just kind of slide down the side of my horse to do it safely. Because the first couple of times that I tried to do it without, I ended up flat on my back in the dirt and my toes still stuck in the stirrup and that didn't serve me well at all. So. Just a little tidbit, um, I, there's only a couple places that I found on the internet where you can actually get these. And NRS, um, they have just about everything. So that's called National Roper Supply. If you go online, look for a twisted, slanted stirrup. So I hope that helps somebody, um, whether you have ankle or knee problems, that it can keep you riding on that horse. So until next time, see ya.